after the long wait, God of War Ragnarok is finally coming to PC in September. The announcement was made during the most recent PlayStation State of Play. Just as we predicted years ago, guys, the hype for this game tilted down, making way for the PC port two years ago. Sony has been killing it with these PC ports, but the one thing they haven't been able to get right is the PSN logins. Because believe it or not, despite the Helldivers controversy, that hasn't stopped the company from acquiring their new PlayStation ports to PC to have to use a PSN account to be able to play the game. Ghost of Tsushima was going through a little bit of the same situation last month that game also came to pc after a long wait on may 16th and although you could play single player without a psn account you needed a playstation account to play the multiplayer which got people pissed again just like what happened with hell divers 2 only thing in this case they didn't remove the requirement despite the outrage in the community i think only hell divers was an exception because that's more of a multiplayer game unlike god of war or ghost of tsushima still this announcement is making pc players angry shortly after many are refusing to pre-order the game one might say it's not a big deal but the reason people are making it a big deal is because steam players have a bone to pick with sony for requiring a psn login they don't trust their steam accounts in the hands of sony and they feel bad for players that won't be able to play the game because adding a psn requirement means the game will be region locked but then again ubisoft xbox ea and rockstar does the same thing and nobody complains so i don't know it may just be something that people are finding to complain about despite this people are still gonna buy god of war ragnarok a boycott on this game will not work this isn't hell divers we've been waiting for this game to come to steam for over two years now many missed out on this game because it was a playstation exclusive but now switch xbox everybody can enjoy this game on pc they're gonna play this game no problem they don't care about some account requirements god of war ragnarok on steam will have better graphics mod support mouse and keyboard support xbox controller support so this is gonna be big september is gonna be nuts i already played the game on my ps5 back in 22 but i would honestly rebuy for the mods because when the first god of war came to pc the modding community took full advantage of the port and switched out the character mod making way for some of the funniest memes ever created some even still surface online so the same is going to happen with ragnarok once it comes out on pc the mods are going to be crazy i for one can't wait and another thing to note about this god of war ragnarok port is it'll support up to 4k unlock frame rate unlike the ps5 which has been locked due to the system's hardware capabilities more resolution support hopefully stretch for me actually while recording this video i found out that they do support super res which is crazy now i gotta get this game for my samsung odyssey but there's also full potential cinematic non-cut camera the game's been upskilled to support full dlss super sampling amd fidelity fsr intel's xess every super sampling platform will be supported higher graphical settings and output resolutions the valhalla dlc is also going to be included in the game too and surprisingly they have some pre-order bonuses which is okay they got some new snow armor i expected better but it's something but if you want something better you could get the deluxe edition include some nice new weapon grips or art book dark dale armor and it all comes out on September 12th if you didn't know already. Also in the game's notes it further confirms a PSN account will be needed. Some are suggesting that this requirement would only be for these cosmetics in the game but I don't think so because if you look at the game's listing on Steam it clearly shows you need a PSN account and that is subject to PlayStation's terms and service. So you know what that means. Just as it was for Helldivers Sony learned nothing. Several countries will be locked out from playing God of War and I guess it's just something we have to deal with. With Helldivers being that one exception that got off the hook. Doubt it will ever happen and again this is just something we're all just gonna have to deal with regardless of community outrage this is god of war we're talking about <laughs> not some third party big indie shooter one of playstation's biggest games of all time next to spider-man and horizon also i bet when spider-man 2 comes to pc you're gonna need a psn account so get ready if you don't have one might as well create one in advance and i guess we're just gonna have to deal with this guys sorry to the people outside of the regions psn isn't available in the end it's sony's game and that's what they want for their games on pc and when everything ran through their network regardless if it's a multiplayer game or not so pc players are just gonna have to get used to how this works everything sony rolls out is gonna need a psn account eventually anyways just wanted to talk on this be sure to leave a like subscribe for more and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out stay blue